Yeah, here in this problem, a VI graph is given for us as shown and it is for a conductor. That's a point where conductor resistance is directly proportional to temperature. Mm, this is given for a given material conductor for at a two different temperatures, one at a T1, another at a T2. In that case, what's the relation between the temperature with the angle is the given question. So, first of all, we can write being a VA graph, I can write a tan theta to this graph. Tan theta is the slope, that is, slope of any graph is opposite side by adjacent side, that is, V by I. But we know, V equal to IR. So, V by I is nothing but equal to R. That implies, tan theta is nothing but equal to R resistance of the given wire in this problem. So, we can say, uh, resistance uh, 1 for the first wire is tan theta, whereas resistance 2 for the second wire, look at this second wire, it is making an angle theta with the vertical, therefore, with the horizontal it makes an angle of 90 minus theta, so R2 is tan 90 minus theta, that is cot theta. So, we know what is R1, what is R2 already. So, what we can say is, further in solving the problem, being it is a conductor, resistance is directly proportional to temperature. So, R1 directly proportional to T1, first temperature, R2 directly proportional to T2. That implies, T2 minus T1 is directly proportional to R2 minus R1. Where in the place of R1 and R2, I can substitute these values that we have derived. That implies T2 minus T1 is directly proportional to R2 means cot theta, R1 means tan theta. So, that is actually an answer. Unfortunately, that is not the answer that we have in the options. So, we have to convert that into the available uh, options. So, how can we convert that? Let us see. T2 minus T1 directly proportional. I can write cot theta as cos theta by sin theta minus this one tan theta as I can further write sin theta by cos theta. So, what happens when you do that? Uh, I can take an LCM sin theta and cos theta, numerator will be cos theta and another cos theta, cos square theta, sin theta multiplied by another sin theta, sin square theta. So, I need to simplify this further because we have only sin 2 theta formula which is 2 sin theta cos theta. I can multiply this equation with 2 in numerator cos square theta minus sin square theta by 2 in the denominator sin theta and uh, cos theta. So, 2 of cos square theta minus sin square theta as per trigonometry is having a formula cos 2 theta and uh, 2 sin theta cos theta is nothing but equal to sin 2 theta. So, what we can uh, say further is, this is directly proportional to 2 into sin theta by cos theta, that is nothing but cos theta by sin theta, that is nothing but equal to cot 2 theta. So, the possible answer in the options is this. So, directly proportional to cot 2 theta. T2 minus T1 is directly proportional to cot 2 theta. Option 4 is the answer. This is how we have to solve this uh, problem, right? Thank you for watching.